Okay, uh, so uh, good evening. Uh, uh, so um, uh, for today's lesson, uh, is our seventh lesson. Uh, okay, uh, so I will cover chapter seven. Uh, uh, chapter seven is about cost system, uh, and also one of the major part is about the jewelry. Uh, uh, okay? uh, so um, it's the, one of the most, uh, one of the hot questions in the examination. Uh, usually in the examination paper, uh, you can expect a question on Julia, yeah? either section A or section B. Yeah? Okay, uh, so we'll go to, we are going to start, uh, say, chapter 7. Uh? And also today, uh, you, uh, look, you work like a lawyer. Uh? So you do what a lawyer has to do uh, in his daily life. Uh? <coughs> Uh, so uh, this is what we are going to do. Uh, so uh, for uh, this lesson, we'll cover the court system, court and tribunal. Uh, uh, so uh, for we'll uh, examine uh, so many aspects of the court system, uh, like jurisdiction, uh, structure of the court, etc., uh, etc. Et uh. So um, I will go through them uh, one by one. Uh. Uh, first of all, uh, so uh, for uh, Especially for civil law, uh, so uh, when people have dispute, uh, uh, so uh, if the dispute uh, of a legal nature is called a uh, legal dispute, right? uh, for legal dispute, uh, uh, so uh, if the party cannot settle the dispute by themselves, of course uh, they can always uh, resolve the dispute by themselves, uh, by negotiation, by or even by mediation, etc. Uh, uh, if at the end of the day, uh, if they cannot settle the dispute by themselves, uh, they can ask for adjudication by the court. Uh, it means that they go to court and say they take a legal action. Uh, so um, uh, for adjudication is the process by which a judge decide the case and makes an order binding on the party to litigation in the court of law. Uh, so it's called legal proceeding. Uh, for example, uh, the court uh, make an order. Uh, so the court order the defendant to pay compensation of $1 million to the uh, plaintiff. Uh, so uh, the order will be uh, binding on the uh, party. Right? Uh, so the defendant is bound to pay uh, one million dollar to the plaintiff. And uh, so for uh, resolving legal dispute, uh, uh, sometimes self-help. Uh, for example, you remove uh, so uh, some rubbish uh, in front of the door. For example, if someone put rubbish on the door, uh, so you remove it. Uh, or some illegal structure, you just remove it by yourself. Uh, sometimes you may use force. Uh, for example, you, you know, when someone comes to your land, uh, so you remove him uh, by reasonable force or so use of force. Uh, uh, but mainly it's by judicial determination through the process of litigation. Uh. So in this uh, chapter, we will focus on uh, litigation in the court. Uh, so uh. And so in the next uh, chapter, we will uh, focus on uh, uh, alternative dispute resolution, uh, ADR. Uh. <coughs> uh, litigation is still the most important way of resolving legal dispute. Uh. Uh, of course, uh, it would be wrong to think that litigation is the only way uh, to determine uh, uh, conflict. Uh, uh, so, uh, Alongside with litigation, we also have ADR, uh, alternative dispute resolution, uh, or dispute resolution, uh, or dispute dissolution, uh, uh, which will be uh, covered in chapter 8. Uh. Uh, that's the next lesson. Uh, litigation is the process by which our legal dispute are resolved and through which law is made. Uh, uh, most people will know uh, the purpose of litigation is to we saw the legal dispute, uh, especially the party to the litigation, uh, either the plaintiff or the defendant. Uh, uh, they want the judge uh, to make a fair decision so that they can resolve uh, the legal dispute. Right? Uh, but not so many people know uh, uh, litigation is important. Uh, because if there's no litigation, uh, there won't be any development of law. Uh, we can only uh, use the old law. We can only use the old cases. Uh, uh, so you want to uh, say develop the law, you need litigation. Uh, otherwise, uh, you simply uh, cannot develop common law. Uh, okay? uh, so for the judge, uh, they can only uh, develop the law or change the law 
啊、uh, full litigation 啊、uh, full legal decision in the court 啊、uh, and also um litigation is the enforcement of legal rights and obligation through the court 啊啊一啊 so if if there's no litigation 啊、uh, the party simply cannot enforce his right 啊、uh, for example if uh if someone has already signed a contract ah、uh, with the other party if the other party does not perform the contract ah、uh, uh, so litigation ah、uh, is the very powerful way ah、uh, so to enforce his right ah、uh, under the contract ah、uh, he can ah、uh, do something ah、uh, he can get the the goods ah、uh, but if there's low litigation ah、uh, so usually ah、uh, it, it's not possible or at least it's not easy ah、uh, for a party ah <coughs>、uh, to the contract to enforce his right ah、uh. So um, uh, litigation is something in contrast with other method of resolving legal dispute, uh, such as arbitration, negotiation, mediation, and also conciliation. Ah,、uh, uh, those are called alternative、uh, dispute resolution. Ah,、uh, uh, they will be covered uh, in uh, chapter eight. Ah,、uh, that's the next lesson. Ah,、uh. uh, so um. We have to know the concept of court funding, ah, and also tribunal, ah, ah, some charge, ah. Ah, in fact, ah, tribunal is only an informal court. Ah, in fact, ah, the nature is more or less the same. Ah, but ah, of course, ah, ah, there's ah some difference between court and tribunal. Ah, ah, court is a place where justice is administered. Ah, it also refers to the judge or judges ah who make up the the court. Ah. Ah,、uh, it does not include those disciplinary body. Ah,、uh, people that are in Hong Kong, ah,、uh, we have so many ah、uh, professional body. Ah,、uh, usually they will have some kind of ah、uh, disciplinary tribunal or disciplinary committee. Ah,、uh, for example, the law society. Ah,、uh, they have the solicitor ah、uh, disciplinary tribunal, and also stock chain, medical council, bar association. Ah,、uh, most of the legal ah.、Uh, Professional,、uh, most of the professional body are、uh, usually they have the、uh, disciplinary tribunal. Ah,、uh. uh, so um, ah,、uh, but they are not regarded as court. Ah,、uh, please、uh, don't think that ah、uh, those tribunal ah、uh, they are not court. Ah,、uh, they are not run by the government. Ah,、uh, so they are only ah、uh, some ah、uh, uh, no ah、uh, some committee or some ah、uh, panel of tribunal ah、uh, which are ah、uh, run by the professional body. Ah,、uh. I believe you have to know that ah、uh, in Hong Kong ah、uh, for the professional. Ah,、uh, they're self-regulating. Ah,、uh, ah,、uh, self-regulation. Ah,、uh, it means that ah,、uh, the professional people regulate themselves. Ah,、uh, they are not regulated by the government. And for ah,、uh, court ah、uh, is divided into two category. Ah,、uh, superior court. Ah,、uh, so for ah、uh, CFI, CA, and also CFA, ah,、uh, they are called ah、uh, superior court. Ah,、uh, they have unlimited ah、uh, jurisdiction. Ah,、uh, ah,、uh, for inferior court, ah,、uh, like ah、uh, district court. Ah,、uh, magistrate. Ah,、uh, so they only have a、uh, limited jurisdiction. Ah,、uh, for tribunal, ah,、uh, some charge. Ah,、uh, so ah,、uh, they are body outside the traditional judicial hierarchy, which also exercise judicial power. Ah,、uh, ah,、uh, so they also hear case. They also make decision. They also ah、uh, give ah、uh, relief or remedy to the plaintiff. Ah,、uh, but usually ah,、uh, the difference is that they are.、Uh, Uh, in a less formal manner, a、uh, less formal manner. Ah,、uh, so it means that they don't have a formal procedure. Ah,、uh, usually the procedure are quite casual. Ah,、uh, it won't be too formal. Ah, because ah, usually for tribunal, ah,、uh, they are not represented by any lawyer. Ah,、uh, except the land tribunal. Ah,、uh, the land tribunal, the name is a little bit misleading. Ah,、uh, ah, because in fact, land tribunal, ah,、uh, is ah,、uh, a quite formal tribunal. Ah.、Uh, Ah,、uh, but ah、uh, for labor tribunal, small claim tribunal, ah、uh, they are less formal. Ah,、uh, usually they do not ah、uh, allow legal representation. Ah,、uh, it means that ah、uh, usually they they won't be any lawyer ah、uh, acting for the party in the ah、uh, in the case. Ah,、uh, and also they tend to exercise jurisdiction in specialized area. Ah,、uh, like the labor tribunal ah、uh, is specializing in employment dispute. Ah,、uh, for um. Uh, say obscene、uh, article tribunal. Ah,、uh, so it's focusing on obscene uh, uh, article. Ah,、uh, characteristic. Ah,、uh, so ah,、uh, usually they are using informal procedure. Ah,、uh, because the party are not represented by lawyer. Ah,、uh, so they do not know too much about legal procedure. Ah,、uh, so they can use a more informal procedure. Ah,、uh, to accommodate ah、uh, the lead of the party. 
and for legal representation, uh, usually it's not allowed uh, uh, unless the party himself is a lawyer. Uh, uh, usually, uh, legal representation is not allowed. Uh, but of course, uh, if the uh, if the party is a company, uh, the company can ask uh, someone who's not a lawyer but with some legal knowledge, uh, for example, a, a legal executive, a law officer, or, 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 or legal manager, uh, to represent the company uh, in the proceeding. Uh. Uh, so it's also they are also specializing in a certain category of case like labor tribunal uh, specializing in labor dispute smoking tribunal specializing in a uh, very small claim uh. Uh, for small claim uh, usually there are for example uh, some of the typical example uh, like service char uh, say management fee they are the most usual cases in the small claims tribunal Yeah, so uh, you have to know um, the concept of jurisdiction. Uh, some point could, uh, uh, so uh, jurisdiction means the authority to hear and determine matters in legal proceeding uh, brought before a court or tribunal. Uh, uh, so of course, uh, it's a very important concept. Uh, uh, because if you uh, go to a court and the court does not have the necessary uh, jurisdiction, uh, usually the court can't, uh, the law can't, or judicial can't, uh, uh, they will ask you to go to another court. Uh, uh, for example, you want to uh, recover $10 million, if you go to small claim tribunal, uh, uh, the clerk or the small claim tribunal will tell you uh, they don't have the jurisdiction to hear a case involving uh, millions of dollars. Uh, uh, you have to go to the uh, district court or high court uh, uh, before you can recover uh, that amount of money. Right? Uh, so, uh, it's a very important issue. Uh, I think uh, most people will have a similar concept, uh, uh, just like uh, the case. Uh, if you are working in the government, uh, you should know uh, the authority of your government. Uh, uh, so you have to know uh, whether this kind of matter will be handled by your department. Uh, if your department has no authority to handle the case, uh, usually you ask uh, the citizen to go to another government department. Uh, sources of jurisdiction uh, is mainly by the respective uh, legislation. Uh, for example, High Court, uh, so the jurisdiction of High Court is governed by Section 12 of the High Court Ordinance. Uh. Uh, so for uh, the different jurisdiction of different court, uh, you may simply refer to the relevant section in the ordinance. Uh. Uh, structure of Hong Kong is something we have seen before, uh, so now uh, we will visit. Uh, the charge on page 120. Uh. Uh, please go to page 120 of your menu. Uh. Uh, so this one is a structure of the uh, Hong Kong Court. Uh. Uh, so at the, uh, uh, the highest one should be the CFA, uh, Court of Final Appeal, and then CA, CFI, uh, Magistrate, etc. Uh, but uh, you have to load the watch of appeal. Uh, this is the arrow is the watch of appeal. Uh. Uh, for district court, when they appeal, they appeal to the CA instead of the CFI. Uh, so for magistrate, small king tribunal, they will appeal to CFI instead of the district court. Uh, appeal to that. A uh, district court user will not hear any appeal. Uh. Uh, district court, uh, so uh, it, uh, say, you know, uh, it won't hear any appeal from a uh, lower court. Uh, so, uh, of course, uh, uh, so uh, you, you have to know that. Uh, so for land tribunal, district court, they will appeal to the court appeal. Uh, for small claim, labor tribunal, magistrate, they will appeal to the CFI. Uh. Uh, so uh, for a case, uh, for example, a case start in the small claim tribunal, uh, so uh, they can appeal to CFI and then appeal to CA and then appeal to CFA. Uh, for magistrate, it's also the same. Uh, it means that uh, for some cases, uh, the maximum number of trial will be Four. Ah, uh, uh, it means that a case can be heard in the court for four times. Uh, one, two, three, four. Ah, uh, it's also one, two, three, four. Ah, uh. uh, but uh, of course, ah, uh, in mainland, uh, so in mainland China, uh, so uh, you can only appeal once. Ah, uh, uh, so it means that a case can only be heard uh, for two times instead of four times. Ah. Uh. Okay, uh, so for jurisdiction, uh, so uh, of course uh, we have to load the amount of money uh, which can be recovered. Uh, for example, uh, so in Tribunal, the uh, jurisdiction is $75,000. Uh, 
uh, for this call is three million dollar. Uh, uh, so and also for the jurisdiction is subdivided into original and also a parallel jurisdiction. Uh, our original jurisdiction refer to the power of the court uh, in which proceeding are first commenced. Uh, uh, so the the apparently uh, so apparently means appeal. Uh, a parallel jurisdiction is exercised by court on an appeal from a lower court or tribunal. Uh, uh, please fill in the blank. Uh, please say uh, which court have original jurisdiction, which one has a uh, parallel jurisdiction, which which one has both. Uh, please fill in the blank. I'll give you uh, one minute's time. Uh. Uh, Officially, uh, you can find the logs uh, in so uh, I have already uploaded all the all the lecture logs on so uh. Okay, uh, we can go through the answer. Uh, so the original, uh, so it should be the matrix card and also district card. Uh, so for CFI, call of first instance, uh, I have both original and also a parallel jurisdiction. Uh, uh, for for call of appeal, call of file appeal, uh, they only have a parallel jurisdiction. Uh, and also, please note that uh, appeal is not a retrial. Uh, so appeal usually it takes a very short time. Uh, sometimes it's only one hour or half a day. Uh, uh, before, uh, usually for the appeal, uh, uh, all the arguments are already written down in the court document. Uh, the appeal judge, uh, usually they have already uh, read all the documents uh, before the appeal uh, commence. Uh, uh, so, uh, and also there's no need to uh, summon the witness in the appeal court. Uh, uh, so it's also the reason why uh, some uh, first trial, why they last for such a long time, sometimes it may be several months, uh, because the most time-consuming part uh, is summoning a, a, a witness. Okay? Uh, because for each witness, uh, uh, there will be cost examination, re examination, examination in chief. Uh, uh, so it's the most uh, time-consuming part of a trial. And also, uh, so can you uh, find the appropriate term uh, for those uh, decisions? Uh, uh, so uh, when a case is appealed, uh, uh, sometimes the appeal is dismissed. 
Uh, so what do we call it? Uh, so what's the term to uh, refer to, uh, say, uh, confirm, uh, very good, uh, confirm, eh? Uh, it should be confirm, ah. Uh. Uh, so the first one should be confirm. Uh, how about the second one? Allowing the appeal in part. Uh, it should be a uh, very, uh, very good, a uh, very, a uh, very means change, uh, to change the decision. Uh, the other one, allow the appeal in full, uh, so it's called uh, reverse, uh, very good, uh, reverse. Uh. Uh, so it's a very uh, proper concept. Uh, because, uh, many people have confused reverse with uh, overrule. Uh. Uh, so later on, uh, so, uh, you have to know uh, the proper meaning of overruling. Uh. Uh, reversing is sometimes confused with uh, overruling. Right? Uh, overruling involves a later con uh, declaring that the law in the earlier case was wrong and should not be uh, followed. Uh, it means that uh, the court overruled a person, uh, but not the same case. Okay? Uh, when the party appeal, uh, so if the uh, uh, say you no, know, if the appeal is allowed, uh, so we call it reversing. Uh, okay, uh, so it's reversing, uh, but for overruling, uh, uh, for example, in the instant case, uh, the lawyer say a case in uh, 1950. Uh, uh, the court declared that the 1950 case, uh, so the legal principle is wrong, so it is called overruled. Uh. A case uh, which has been overruled should never be used again. Uh. I will should not be followed again. And so uh, if a lawyer say a case which has already been overruled, uh, uh, the judge will be very angry. Uh, it means that the lawyer, the counsel is very lazy. Uh, he uh, did not do the reading. He did not know the case has already uh, been overruled. Uh, the only reason is that he is very lazy. Okay, uh, he, he does not spend enough time in reading new cases. Uh. Uh, so uh, for the court appeal, uh, the court of final appeal will place uh, the PV Council in the court system of Hong Kong. Uh, after 1997, uh, we did not, uh, so all the appeal will not go to the PV Council. Uh, uh, so the court of appeal was uh, established in Hong Kong to replace uh, the function of the PV Council. Uh, uh, so of course, uh, uh, at the, uh, before 1997, uh, only uh, every year, only uh, four to four, four, four to five cases uh, uh, would go to the PV Council. Uh, uh, so the number was very small. Uh, uh, but um, in after line uh, so uh, quite unexpectedly, uh, uh, so the number of cases in the CFA, uh, I think uh, it should be quite uh, quite big. Uh, so it's uh, nearly 100 cases every year. Uh, uh, so it's also the reason uh, why uh, the CFA now they have to move move back uh, to the uh, court building in uh, Central. Uh, uh, so previously uh, they were uh, say you know in battery battery building uh, power building, uh, okay? uh, Now they are in the old uh, latch code building. Uh. Uh, so um, for under of course uh, many people want to appeal. Uh, of course uh, uh, so uh, it may not be so desirable if the court allow all the appeal. Uh, if the court allow all the litigants uh, to appeal to the court of final appeal, uh, in fact, it's a wasting of the public money and also uh, the uh, resources of the court. Uh, uh, so it's the reason uh, why uh, the court has uh, set some uh, restriction or has uh, imposed some requirement uh, before someone can appeal. Uh, to the court of file appeal. Uh. Uh, so for court of file appeal, uh, under the court of file appeal ordinance, uh, so uh, the CFA only usually uh, only hear appeal from CA. Uh, most of the appeal are uh, from CA. Uh, that is the court of appeal. Uh. Uh, for civil cases, uh, they must be of uh, great general or public importance. Uh, so the appeal would be at the discretion of court. Uh, or uh, there will be, uh, so if a party want to appeal, uh, he had to get the leave. Uh, please hold that leave uh, is a very funny term. Uh, uh, it means permission. Uh, uh, okay? uh, so if you want to appeal, uh, you have to get the leave of the court. Uh, uh, usually, uh, so uh, in Hong Kong, uh, we have an appeal committee. Uh, 
uh, the appeal committee uh, is composed of uh, several judges. Uh, the job is to screen the uh, application. Uh, so when someone wants to appeal, he has to apply. Uh, so the court will examine whether there's any reasonable ground to appeal. Uh, if there's no reasonable ground, uh, so uh, the appeal, uh, so you, no, the appeal, that there won't be any leave to appeal. Uh. Of course, it's something where uh, more preliminary. Uh, so uh, in uh, for those preliminary vetting, uh, they will try to screen. Uh, those uh, cases without any reasonable ground. Uh, so uh, criminal cases uh, uh, is also at the question of court. Uh, it must get the leave to appeal. Uh, uh, so uh, under some exceptional circumstances, uh, CFI may appeal to CFA directly uh, so that they can uh, skip uh, the step in the CA. Uh. Uh, so, and then we go to another classification of jurisdiction. The first classification is original jurisdiction and also uh, appellate jurisdiction. Uh, it's about uh, whether the case is a first trial or appeal. Uh, uh, the second one is about civil and criminal jurisdiction. Uh, uh, civil jurisdiction uh, refer to the original and also appellate power relating to uh, either claim for relief. A uh, uh, claim for relief is the most useful. Uh, type of cases. Uh, for example, in contract law, uh, so uh, a party, uh, say, uh, a party breach the contract, so the other party of the contract uh, will try to claim for relief. Uh, or in an accident, uh, someone is hurt uh, by a car, uh, so uh, he will uh, sue the driver uh, in order to get uh, compensation. Uh, so it's a claim for relief. Uh, a relief is something uh, similar to remedy, uh, so it includes damages, injunction, specific performance, or other uh, relief or uh, remedy. Uh. Uh, so uh, a party that has done something wrong in law, uh, so the victim uh, will claim for relief. Uh. Uh, so it's the most usual uh, cases for civil uh, uh, civil dispute. Uh. Uh, so the other one is declaration of right recognized and enforced by law. Uh. Uh, this one is uh, less usual. Uh, so not so many people know uh, the law. The court will make declaration of a uh, right uh, of the party. Uh, uh, declaration of uh, binding. Uh, binding. Uh, so in Chinese, uh, uh, binding. Uh, it means um, uh, the court will confirm the right of a party. Uh, uh, you may go to page one two two uh, uh, to find some example. Uh, page one two two. Right? Uh, we can find uh, some uh, example. Uh, example of legal wrong, like uh, say a breach of contract, infringement of why, infringement of copyright, infringement of patent, uh, breach of duty, negligence. Uh, there are example of legal wrong in civil law. Uh, example of property right. Uh, uh, so for example, right to exclusive possession of land, right to define income from land, right to dispose of land. Uh, uh, sometimes the party uh, may have this pill on the property right. Uh, uh, so um, a party would like to get the uh, uh, declaration. Uh, for example, uh, uh, we have three uh, party. Uh, both uh, all of them, uh, each of them, uh, want to uh, get the uh, say. Each of them claim that they are the owner of the land. Uh, uh, so uh, if they have this kind of dispute, uh, uh, A may go to court uh, to. Uh, get a declaration from the court. Uh, he want the court to declare that he's the owner of that piece of land. Uh, uh, so it's the example of declaration. Uh, if A has already uh, got the declaration, uh, if A can get the declaration. Uh, of course, uh, his life will be much easier. Uh, he can sell the land. Uh, he can lease the land. I can uh, say uh, apply for uh, uh, no having a building uh, no uh, on the land. Uh, uh, he can do so many things relating to land uh, after he has obtained the uh, declaration. Uh, uh, we got the court uh, declare A to be the owner of the land. Uh, so A will be in a much better position. Uh, he can do so many things he like.
Uh, so for criminal jurisdiction, uh, it refers to the original and apparently power of the court uh, relating to the proof of guilt. A uh, proof of guilt uh, is to decide whether the defendant should be guilty or not guilty. Uh, for example, uh, when someone is prosecuted in the court, uh, uh, so the court has to decide whether he should be guilty of the alleged offense or whether he's not guilty. It's called proof of that. Uh, of course, uh, the prosecution will produce a lot of evidence to prove that the defendant is guilty, okay? And the defense counsel will also uh, provide a lot of argu argument or proof uh, to prove that the defendant is not guilty. Uh, uh, after the defendant is found guilty, uh, uh, the other job is sentencing, uh, learning. Uh, uh, sentencing uh, means uh, the court has to consider the most appropriate uh, punishment on the offender, okay? Of course, uh, uh, sentencing is uh, a very complicated issue. Uh, a lot of they are, especially in Hong Kong, many people challenge uh, the decision of court on sentencing. Uh, uh, sometimes it's not easy to challenge uh, because uh, there are simply so many factors the court will take into consideration. Uh, uh, for example, the seriousness of the crime, uh, whether the defendant uh, is uh, remorseful, whether he has uh, he pleaded guilty or not, uh, say, uh, uh, no, what kind of damage uh, he has done to the victim, and say uh, his educational level, uh, his age, uh, his family background, etc., etc. Uh, there are so many factors uh, the court will take into consideration. Uh, so don't even for similar offense, uh, the punishment may not be the same. Uh. Uh, usually, it's in the format of maximum penalty. Uh, in criminal law, uh, so there will be maximum penalty which can be imposed uh, by different court, uh, especially for the inferior court. Uh, uh, for magistrate, uh, so it's the uh, two year for a single offense and three year for consecutive offense. Uh, uh, for district court, it's only seven years. Uh, uh, so uh, it means that uh, a district court judge cannot impose the defendant, uh, say, uh, cannot send him to uh, uh, 10 years of imprisonment. Uh, uh, if the prosecutor uh, want the defendant to have a, a more a heavier punishment, uh, uh, he has to prosecute uh, the defendant in CFI uh, instead of district court. Uh, but do you know, uh, some prosecutor uh, they may choose to prosecute the defendant in the district court, uh, despite the fact that they load the maximum uh, punishment of the district court is only seven years. Uh. Uh, sometimes a district court judge will tell the defendant, ah, uh, uh, no, if I'm not restricted by the jurisdiction of this court, I will sentence you to 10 years of imprisonment. Uh, but I have no authority to do that. Uh, uh, the district court, the maximum punishment uh, they can impose is only seven years of imprisonment. Uh, uh, but why? Uh, some prosecutors still prefer to go to the district court. Uh, uh, the answer is very simple. Uh, because district court does not have any jury. Uh, uh, many prosecutors, uh, they don't like uh, the hearing, uh, say, by jury. Uh, because uh, it will be more difficult uh, to make the uh, defendant to be found guilty. Uh, so if there's jury. Uh, usually the jury will be more sympathetic towards the defendant. Uh. A lot of people go to page 1, 2, 3. Uh, please do. Activity 1 on page 1, 2, 3. Okay, uh, if, uh, you can do it by yourself. Uh, so please go. Um, I think I think uh, it's the relevant chapter number of those uh, ordinance relating to court, uh, either the high court or the this court. Uh, or the small claim tribunal. Uh, I mean, you, you so just one example. Uh, uh, or how about we choose small claim tribunal? Uh, it should be chapter 58. Uh, I can find the jurisdiction in part three, or uh, jurisdiction of the tribunal. Uh, and, uh, usually, uh, the figure, uh, the figure, uh, so lot of the, I think the figure is 75,000. Uh, usually, it's in the schedule. Uh, 
uh, why the figure is, uh, has to be specified in the schedule is because uh, it will be more convenient. Uh. Uh, so if you change the figure, you can just amend the schedule, uh, load it to amend the, uh, uh, no, uh, if the figure is stated in the schedule. Uh, so whenever uh, the figure is revised, uh, so uh, so you can just uh, amend the schedule. Eh? Uh, load it to amend section 5 or section 6 or other section. Uh. Uh, so uh, very funny, uh, so uh, from time to time, uh, uh, you find uh, some people they want to uh, sue someone. Uh, they ask the politician to help them. Uh, uh, so in Hong Kong, is the district councillor or some ledge co member. Uh, uh, for those uh, politicians, uh, sometimes they will help the uh, citizen uh, to take a case in the small claim tribunal. Uh, uh, because for the small claim tribunal, you don't need a lawyer. You don't need any legal representation. Uh, in fact, uh, a legal representation is not allowed. Uh, in the small claim tribunal, uh, so it's uh, chapter 58. Uh. Uh, so, um, uh, but of course, uh, for those politicians, uh, in fact, they low, uh, the chance is simply zero. Okay? Uh, so in the recent case, uh, we know uh, some tissue councillor held a citizen to sue uh, HSBC, uh, because HSBC uh, did not pay any dividend, did not declare any dividend uh, last year. Uh. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, legally speaking, uh, it would be extremely difficult to sue the bank. Uh, because all the listed companies, uh, uh, usually they have the discretion uh, either to declare dividend or not to declare dividend. Uh, uh, it would be very difficult for the court uh, to challenge uh, the decision. Okay? Because it's a quite commercial decision. Uh, okay? uh, so, and also, uh, uh, you want to sue the bank, uh, you need a lot of uh, legal costs, uh, uh, so you may uh, have to spend millions of dollars uh, before you can uh, finish the case. Uh. Uh, but for many, it's a counselor, they, they help those people uh, to take the action in the small claim tribunal. Uh. Uh, but usually, uh, uh, please know that the small claim tribunal will never, uh, usually, they, they will sell, at least they will say, they, they, usually, they will not uh, uh, handle any uh, complicated case. Uh, if the case is complicated, uh, usually they won't handle because most of the case handled by the uh, small claim tribunal is only, uh, say, recovery or management fee or uh, some service charge. Uh, so uh, usually they will not handle uh, complicated cases. Uh, so for this case, uh, usually they what would they do? Uh, they will transfer the case to the high court. Okay? Uh, so under Section 7, uh, when you look at Section 7, transfer of claim. A tribunal may at any stage or proceeding in tribunal either of its own motion or on the application of any party. Uh, it means that the plain, the defendant, uh, the defendant can apply uh, to the tribunal and ask the tribunal to transfer the case to the high court. Uh, that's the CFI. Uh, uh, transfer the proceeding to the board, uh, the legal tribunal, the land tribunal, the court, court of first instance, whereupon uh, the practice and procedure of the board, uh, etc., etc., uh, shall apply. Uh, uh, so it means that. Uh, uh, most likely, uh, the lay uh, the small claim tribunal will transfer the case to the high court uh, because uh, the case is so complicated. Okay? Uh, even though uh, the plaintiff only try to recover seventy five thousand, it within the jurisdiction of the small claim tribunal. Uh, uh, the case is too complex, uh, too complicated. Uh, uh, usually, the labor tribunal uh, will not handle uh, this kind of claim. Also, uh, we have to load that for court proceeding. Uh, we have two different styles or two different systems. Uh, uh, so we have in accusatorial and also uh, inquisitorial. Uh, uh, for accusatorial, it's also called adversarial. Uh, it means uh, it looks like a debate. Uh, uh, the party to the uh, hearing, uh, so uh, the, the lawyer, uh, uh, so uh, what they're going to do uh, is something with, uh, very similar to debating. Uh, uh, so uh, in the debating, I think uh, most of you have uh, experience of debating, you know what is meant by debating, uh, being done, uh. Uh, so uh, for the debating, uh, if you join a debating competition, uh, so we have two sides, uh, two different teams, uh, so the government side and also the opposition side. Uh, uh, but, and also uh, uh, in front of them, there will be a judge uh, so, or a panel of judges. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, for the judge, uh, usually he is passive. 
Uh, so the judge will not participate in the debating. Uh, he will not interrupt the debater and ask question. Uh, he just listen uh, to the debater and he will uh, give ma. Uh, so uh, judge is more or less the same. Uh, so uh, if you go to court, uh, you find most of the questions are asked by lawyer. Uh, the, set, the judge, uh, he seldom interrupt. Uh, he do not. He, he won't ask too many questions. Uh, uh, so most of the questions are asked by the lawyer for the two party. Uh, so the judge will play the role of umpire. Uh, that's referee. Uh, uh, you see fair play between the party. Sometimes uh, he will uh, regulate the behavior of the party. Uh, so he will give a uh, warning or reminder to the party. For example, if they are law very noisy, they will ask the, uh, the people in the courtroom, uh, don't be uh, not to be so noisy. Okay? Uh, so uh, if someone is very emotional, uh, he will calm him down, etc. He will regulate uh, so the hearing. Uh, uh, the other one is uh, inquisitorial. Uh, uh, inquisitorial means that the court will play a more active role in the questioning of the defendant and witnesses. Uh, so it's what uh, no, the civil law uh, is practicing. Uh, they are using inquisitorial, uh, but for the common law, uh, we are using the adversarial. Uh. Uh, court proceeding. Uh, so I think I uh, need to memorize this. Uh, 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 say this line. Uh, uh, are, uh, no, of course, uh, you learn those concepts in uh, uh, Module 2, uh, Civil Procedure. Uh. Uh, for civil proceeding, uh, it can be uh, by different format. Uh, so if you want to start a civil proceeding, you can use different format. Uh, for different action, uh, there will be different uh, concept, uh, uh, different format. Uh. For example, action for damages for breach of contract is by which of someone, uh, so John, uh, more on dispute in fact. Uh, claims for an order for specific performance, it will be by originating someone, is more on dispute in law. Uh. Uh, some action are uh, using, uh, say, motion, and also petition, etc. Uh, but now they have already been uh, abolished. Uh. Uh, because there are some, uh, say, a very old uh, English term, uh, uh, so they should be uh, abolished. Right? Uh, so the detail will be uh, covered in the module of civil uh, So it will be the uh, second module of the CLS. Uh. Uh, but only to memorize this, uh, those details for the purpose of examination. Uh, criminal proceeding, uh, so uh, it's uh, uh, very different. Uh, so uh, when you study law, you find uh, the legal proceeding, the legal procedure are uh, very different in criminal law and civil law. Uh, uh, criminal proceeding are uh, usually is by complaint or information being laid before a magistrate. Uh, uh, so uh, if it's a uh, summary offense, uh, for criminal offense, uh, it's divided into uh, summary offense or uh, say uh, uh, say other uh, no indictable offense. Uh, uh, so for uh, petty offense, uh, they are called summary offense. Okay? Uh, so uh, the document is called summon. Uh, summon okay? uh, so when you receive a summon, uh, you know that it's not something very serious. Uh, but if you receive a charge suit, uh, a charge suit uh, so for indictable offense. Uh, indictable one usually it means a more serious offense. Uh, uh, so uh, it will be by a charge suit. Uh, so if you receive uh, such a document, uh, you know that the offense is much more serious. Uh, so, of course, uh, the detail will be covered by the model uh, criminal law and criminal procedure uh, in the DLS program. Uh, uh, the trial process it will be covered in details in, uh, say, uh, basic law, uh, so uh, uh, slide 20 and also slide 21. Uh, it may be a law, a law for the purpose of examination. Uh, so, low lead uh, to memorize uh, those in uh, the previous two lines. Uh, two slides. Uh, slide. Uh, say you no know, uh, slide uh, seventeen and also eighteen. So some 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 wrong wrong numbering. Uh, it should be seventeen and eighteen. Uh, sorry. Uh. Some uh, typing mistake. Uh, sorry. Uh. It should be slide seventeen and also eighteen. Now we go to a, a concept called issue. Also in your uh, assignment, uh, you are also there's also a question. Uh, so we ask you the issue of the case. Uh, uh, issue. Uh, issue can be divided into issue of fact or issue of law. Uh, okay. Uh, issue is an important concept in legal study. Uh, 
uh, from time to time you mention uh, this concept uh, so uh, you have to identify the issue uh, uh, so um, uh, when you study other subject, uh, so like sociology or public administration, uh, so you find some uh, term called social issue or political issue. Uh, uh, but the meaning may be a little bit different. Uh, so in law, uh, so when you study law, uh, issue user uh, is not only a line, it's a question to which uh, there are at least two possible questions, uh, or problem to which there are at least two possible solutions. Uh, uh, for example, uh, so uh, in the case of Donald Hill and Stevenson, uh, uh, there was dispute between uh, the plaintiff Donald Hill and also the defendant uh, Stevenson. Uh, so the point of dispute is whether the manufacturer owe a duty of care to the user. Uh, it's a case you have studied before. Uh, so it's a case you study in lesson five. Uh, so uh, in this case, uh, uh, so the legal point of dispute is whether the manufacturer owe a duty of care to the user. Uh, because the manufacturer did not have any contractual uh, relationship with the user. Uh, the user was uh, Mrs. Uh, Donald Hill. Uh, uh, so the defendant was uh, Stevenson. Okay? Uh, so uh, uh, the issue is whether the manufacturer owe duty of care uh, to Mrs. Donald Hill. Okay? Uh, the answer, of course, uh, the answer is yes. Uh, uh, the possible answer is either yes, they have duty. Uh, he has duty. Uh, or low, uh, low duty, uh, low such duty. Uh, so these are the possible answer to this question. Uh, uh, for uh, issue, uh, we have three types of issue. Uh, uh, for example, issue of fact. Uh, issue of fact uh, means uh, where it's not known for certain what happened in a particular case. Uh, uh, for example, uh, so if someone is charged for a suit for uh, defamation, a uh, white ball, uh, so whether he had made such a statement is an issue of fact. Uh, okay? uh, so uh, for example, uh, the plaintiff uh, uh, alleged that uh, the defendant uh, um, tell other people that the plaintiff had been in prison. Uh, so it's a mad issue of fact. Uh, whether the defendant had made such a statement, uh, whether the defendant uh, told other people that the plaintiff had been in prison uh, is an issue of fact. Okay? Uh, but whether the statement amount to defamation is a matter of law. Uh, the other one is issue of law. Uh, sometimes uh, the legal position is not so clear. Uh, uh, where it's not known for certain what law, if any, is relevant uh, to resolving a problem arising out of a particular set of facts. Uh, uh, when you have a legal problem, you simply do not know uh, uh, which legal principle, which legal rule you should use uh, to resolve this problem. Uh, uh, for example, uh, whether a man under 45 can be the chief executive of Hong Kong uh, is an uh, issue of law. Uh, uh, the legal position sometimes is not clear. Uh, so it's the reason why we have to raise this question. Uh. Uh, the uh, the uh, last one is the most difficult one. Uh, it's called uh, issue of application of law to the fact. Uh, so it means that you have to apply uh, the legal rule to the fact. Uh, why you have to do so? Uh, you have to find the conclusion. You have to find the answer. It's the most important thing uh, the client is looking for. Uh, uh, when the client comes to see a lawyer, uh, usually he will not ask the lawyer what are the sources of law in Hong Kong, what is the meaning of common law. Uh, uh, he will never ask this kind of uh, examination uh, question. Uh, uh, he will just give you uh, his problem. Uh, uh, so the client will say, I have signed a contract uh, last week. Uh, so now I cannot supply the goods as required by the contract. Uh, uh, please help me. Uh, of course, uh, the lawyer have to go through the contract uh, to see uh, whether there's any uh, vitiating factor, whether uh, one element is being problem, whether there's a uh, consideration, whether there's intention, etc. Et uh, uh, he will go through the contract uh, to see if there's any form. Uh, he try to find any vitiating factor. Uh, any ground under which uh, he can uh, rescind the contract is what he will do uh, for this contract. Right? Uh, so, uh, but at the end of the day, uh, uh, he has to apply the law to the fact and give the conclusion. Uh, uh, so, it's an issue of application of law to the fact. Uh, uh, in fact, it's something most difficult. Uh, it's the most difficult part. Uh, because even though you know the law, uh, but if you have to apply the law to the fact, uh, uh, you may find it difficult uh, because the law sometimes may, may not be so clear. Okay? 
uh, so the legal position is not uh, something so well defined, so uh, well uh, explained in the legislation to so find the difficulty. Uh, uh, so uh, the question is whether the given fair fall within the legal fact uh, prescribed by the applicable legal uh, uh, For example, uh, so uh, legal fair is some of the legal definition. Uh, for example, uh, for the criminal offense of fair is the uh, say dishonest appropriation of property belonging to another with the intention to deprive it uh, permanently. Uh, uh, so is, these are the legal facts. Uh, uh, so when you come across a case in your daylight, uh, so you have to determine uh, whether the act fall within the definition of fact uh, in the legislation. Uh, uh, but many textbooks group B and C together uh, as issue of law. Uh, uh, so they just have two issues, issue of fact and also issue of law. Okay? Uh, of course, uh, it will be more uh, it will be uh, the job will be easier if you group uh, say uh, B and C together. And now we go to uh, the issue of uh, jury, uh, uh, jury trial, uh, jury trial, right? Uh, so um, uh, we have a uh, jury trial. Uh, so for trial, uh, uh, especially in criminal case, uh, uh, we have two different modes of trial. Uh, uh, the first one is a uh, judge sitting alone decide both matter of fact and also matter of law. Uh, it's what happened in magistrate and also district court. Uh, uh, we are in magistrate court and also district court. Uh, there will be uh, there are, there are simply no jury. Uh, okay? uh, the judge will do all the job. Uh, he will decide both matter of fact and also matter of law. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, he will make a decision uh, to find the defendant guilty or not guilty. Uh, uh, but in CFI, uh, it's a little bit different. Uh, uh, we will have a jury trial. Uh, uh, there will be a judge and also a jury. Uh, a jury is a panel of jury. Uh, usually, the number is seven. Uh, uh, the usual number is seven. Uh, sometimes it may be line person. Right? Uh, the jury, uh, there will be division of labor between, uh, the, uh, between the judge and the jury. Uh, uh, for the jury or jury, uh, they will handle issue of fact uh, for the judge. Uh, he will handle issue or matters of law. Uh, uh, the judge will influence the jury by giving direction. Uh, from time to time, the jury will follow the direction of the judge. Uh, uh, so, uh, don't, and, and also at the end of the day, uh, uh, whether the defendant is guilty or not guilty, uh, the decision is made by the jury. Okay? Uh, so the jury is the uh, he will make the final decision uh, to see whether the defendant is uh, found guilty or not guilty. Uh, so uh, it's the job of the jury instead of the judge. Uh, of course, the judge can influence the jury, uh, but uh, the decision at the end of the day, uh, it will be made by the jury. Uh, usually, uh, so judges influence the jury for the summing up. Uh, uh, he will sum up. Uh, it means that he will summarize the fact uh, which occur immediately before the jury retire. Uh, uh, people that retire means that they go to a room, uh, a toileting. Uh, uh, it does not mean retire at the age of like 60 or 55 or 65. Uh, my God, to you, uh. Uh, so I uh, know usually they will leave the courtroom and go to a room uh, to discuss the case and consider its uh, verdict. Uh. A lot of there are many jurors, they have to spend a very long time uh, so uh, before they can make the final decision. Uh. It's especially true, uh, because a lot of the many cases are conducted in Cantonese. Uh, so uh, for many jurors, uh, they uh, can uh, understand the case more. Uh, uh, more uh, In the past, uh, uh, so the trial was uh, conducted in English. Uh, uh, some uh, jurors, they may not quite understand the case. Uh, uh, so And also, they, they will not be so uh, active in the discussion. Uh, but now they are they are they're more active. Uh, they will participate more in the discussion. Uh, it's also the reason why uh, it takes uh, the jury a very long time before they can uh, say agree on the uh, final verdict. Uh, now the uh, jury trial in civil proceeding uh, is now the exception rather than the rule in civil proceeding. Uh, it means that in civil proceeding uh, uh, it will be very unusual for the case to be uh, the, to have a, a jury trial. Uh, okay? Uh, the only, I think the only exception is defamation case, uh, uh, white ball, uh, uh, defamation case may be the only exception, maybe the only type of civil case uh, in which 
uh, jury trial uh, is used. Uh. Uh, so the second one is jury trial in criminal proceeding. Uh. Uh, so uh, of course, uh, usually is for indictable offenses, uh, uh, which will be tried without uh, jury. Uh. Uh, for some offense, uh, uh, for some petty offense, uh, they will be tried without any jury. Uh. Uh, only indictable offense like uh, murder, manslaughter, uh, they will be tried uh, by the jury. And now we go to uh, the eligibility. Uh, uh, so we use the term eligible. Uh, eligible means that you are qualified. Uh, yeah, so it's very funny. Uh, uh, we are in Hong Kong. Uh, uh, lots so uh, many people, they don't want to be jewel. Uh. Uh, many uh, people they try to find the skills uh, to escape the Jewish service. Uh, a lot so many people are very uh, eager uh, to become a Jew. Some some people would, would think that is the duty of a citizen, uh, so uh, they are, are quite willing uh, to uh, accept. Uh, uh, so uh, the, uh, the the summon by the court. Uh, so from time to time, the court will summon some people to be Jew. Uh, uh, so some people, uh, they are, uh, they want to leave. Uh, they want to uh, say avoid uh, the Jewish service. Uh, because uh, usually it's something quite time consuming. Uh, uh, it may take at least several days or even uh, one month or even three months. Uh, uh, so for the case for the hearing. Uh, uh, so, uh, but still uh, we use the term uh, eligible. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, so many people uh, don't want to be eligible. <laughs> In general, a person is liable to, sometimes we also use the term liable, uh, because uh, it's a duty. Uh, so if you're liable, you have to serve the uh, Jewish service. Uh, if you refuse to do so, you may be punished uh, by the court. Uh, so a person is liable to sit as a Jew uh, if he or she is a Hong Kong citizen. Uh, so it's the first requirement. Age must be 21 to uh, 65. Uh, so uh, if someone is... Um, already uh, 66, uh, uh, he will not be eligible to sit as a jeweler. And also of Samai, uh, Samai uh, means that he's mentally uh, healthy, not affected uh, by uh, blindness, uh, deafness, or other disability like uh, hearing or some other thing. Uh, uh, so uh, you know, for disability, uh, it may prevent the person from serving as a jeweler. Of course, uh, uh, the court may have more uh, detailed guidelines, uh, so it's only the requirement and it's only the condition under the jury ordinance. Uh. Also, he must be of uh, good character. Uh, usually, it means that he has low criminal record. Uh, and also, has must have sufficient knowledge of the language in, in which are the proceedings are to be conducted. Uh, uh, it may be either Chinese or English. Uh, uh, very. Uh, so it was sad to know uh, some students have they still have misunderstanding. <laughs> uh, so uh, I think uh, in the recent examination, I set a paper. Uh, one of the question is: uh, uh, someone is uh, has very low English standard. Uh, is he eligible to be jeweler? Uh, the answer should be: uh, the answer should be yes. Uh, because a lot of there are many cases are conducted in Chinese. Uh, uh, for people who are also for proficient in English, uh, there will be low power. Uh, uh, he can be jeweler in a case conducted in Chinese. Uh. Uh, so now they are, so uh, if you do not uh, know English or if your standard in English is very low, uh, it doesn't matter, uh, you can still serve as a Jew. Uh, some uh, people are exempted. Uh. Uh, so for some poll, member of let's call or executive officer or council or public officer, including police officer, uh, a serving member of the armed force, barrister at law, so they in actual practice. Uh, a piece of that they must be in actual practice. Uh, uh, for example, if a solicitor has already retired, uh, uh, usually uh, he's still eligible to be jeweler. Hello, um, barrister at law and solicitor in actual practice and also the clerk. Any question? A uh, Chinese mean Cantonese. Uh, usually it means Cantonese. A piece of that. Uh, so I think uh, it's quite, I do not know, uh, any trial is conducted in Mandarin. I think the judge, uh, <laughs> the, 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 Canton, the Mandarin may not be so good. I think uh, it's quite unlikely uh, for them to use uh, Mandarin. Uh. 
Uh, if the if the party only allow uh, Mandarin, uh, there will be translation. Uh, don't worry. Uh. Uh, so we have some translator. Uh, they, are pro they, are, they will provide a ser translation service in the car. Uh. Of course, it's expensive. Uh, sometimes the party is an Indonesian, uh, Indian, or uh, some other uh, ethnic minority. Uh, so uh, the court has to arrange a uh, translator for them. Uh. A doctor, dentist, and also veterinarian. Uh. Uh, so uh, for professional, uh, why they are exempted? Uh, because uh, when, uh, so many years ago, uh, the government thought that they are so essential uh, to the society. Uh, it's the reason why they should not be a uh, Jew. Uh, some people are exempted uh, because they are so important. Uh, their service is indispensable. And also you have to look at the history of the ordinance. Uh, uh, it was enacted. I think uh, at the early stage of, uh, so I think shortly after the uh, British occupied Hong Kong. Uh, uh, so it should be uh, in the middle of the 19th century. Uh, uh, at that time, uh, Hong Kong only had very small number of doctor, lawyer, or uh, other professional. Right? Uh, some some people they accept that uh, because there may be some uh, conflict of interest, uh, like barrister, law, solicitor, uh, the clerk. They may have uh, some conflict. Uh, if they also, if they are also uh, serving as jeweler, uh, also public uh, police officer, uh, public officer, okay, uh, they will have potential uh, conflict of interest. Uh. Uh, some people are uh, they exempt uh, because they may be so important, uh, like chemists, uh, etc. Okay, also chemists and druggists are uh, actually carrying on business as such. Editor of daily newspaper because there will be conflict of interest. Uh, such member of the star. Uh, a full-time member of all the main religion, uh, so uh, they are also exempt. Uh. A lot of people go to page one two nine. Uh. Uh, please pay to go to page one two nine. Right? Uh, so, um, uh, please refer to session five. Uh. Uh, so I don't know whether you have session five. Uh, this one is session four. Uh. Uh, this one is session five. Okay, I'm uh, showing all you have a copy of session five. Uh. Uh, the job is a little bit tedious. Uh. Uh, so you have to do the, uh, you may do it at home. Uh. Uh, so full time students, both of a church. Uh, see whether you can find them in this section. Full time student and also spouse of the church. Uh, session five is about exemption from service. Uh, so the ordinance has listed all, all those people who will be exempted from the legal, from the, uh, say, no, from the service. And if I spouse of the church. A full time student, uh, so you can find full time student is in paragraph I. Uh, a full time student of any school, right? Eh? And also, uh, in paragraph O, uh, the spouse of the judge, uh, spouse of a chief justice, spouse of a judge, uh, of a court, etc. Uh. Uh, so, uh, for uh, spouse of the judge and also a uh, full time student, uh, the presumably, uh, uh, they should be exempted. Uh. Oh, now please go to page uh, one three zero ah, page one three zero right. Uh, please go to page one three zero. Ah, uh, so now is the job you have to do ah. Uh, so ah, uh, in uh, your job is to go for a judgment ah. Uh, so the judgment is very short ah. Uh, 
uh, HCMP 655 of 2008. Uh. Uh, so uh, the fact pattern, uh, you represent Wong, a Hong Kong resident and CEO of a company, a multinational company, uh, engaged in many projects in China and other parts of the world. Uh. Uh, Wong is already 55 years old. Uh, he has been uh, Wong has been summoned to sit as a jeweler in a trial that is expected to last for six weeks. Uh, uh, Wong has asked you to apply for an exemption on the ground that his business interests would suffer if he had to sit as a jeweler. Uh, uh, so being busy is a very useful reason uh, why some people want to be exempted. Uh, of course, uh, Section 5 has listed all the people, all those people who will be exempted, but Section 28 also say that uh, if you are if you do not fall within one of the one of the person in uh, Section 5, uh, you can still apply. Uh, for exemption, okay. Uh, please go through the case and see whether Wong can uh, uh, know whether Wong's application will be succeed. Uh, will succeed. Uh. Uh, so now I think all of you should have the copy of the judgment. Uh. It's called M Hong Sang. Uh. Uh, please go through this case. I think uh, it's a very short one. You only have a free page something. Uh. I think it's about free page. Uh. Uh, please go through the case. Uh, so uh, and then uh, answer the question. Uh, uh, please go for the case and see whether uh, uh, by the legal rule uh, imposed by this case. Uh, so see whether Wong can apply for uh, exemption. Uh. So I'll give you uh, say uh, 15 minutes time after the after you have read the case. Uh, uh, please take a break and then uh, after the break uh, we'll come back and discuss this case. Uh. Uh, so your job is uh, very similar to a lawyer. Uh, uh, usually, uh, for a more complicated case, uh, the lawyer has to do some legal research. Uh, uh, so if the client asks you a very simple question, uh, you you can memorize the answer so you can you can answer the client immediately. Uh, uh, but for more uh, difficult issue, you need some research. Uh, so you go to uh, the law book and find the uh, the relevant uh, legislation and also case. Uh, uh, so I think. Uh, you can skip uh, so the jewelry ordinance uh, uh, because we want to save our time. Uh, lowly to go through the jewelry ordinance. Uh, just look at this case. Uh. Of course, uh, we know that. Uh, so uh, being busy uh, is not a reason for exemption under Section Five. Uh. And also, chief executive. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, a CEO, a uh, uh, business executive, a uh, businessman. Uh, usually, they they do not fall within uh, the. And they, 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 they are not a person uh, fall within the exemption under Section 5. Uh. Uh, so you cannot find businessman, business executive in Section 5. Uh. Uh, so they have to apply for exemption under Section 28. Uh, please go through the case by yourself. Uh. Uh, after uh, so uh, you have read the case uh, and answer the question, uh, please take a break for 10 minutes. Uh. And then we'll come back and discuss this case.
Okay, uh, so uh, we'll uh, resume uh, the lecture. Uh, so we'll continue the lecture. And uh, so uh, for this case, uh, so of course, uh, I don't know whether you can um, uh, say no, um, uh, whether you can uh, understand this case. Uh, uh, so uh, your job is very simple. Uh, you have to advise uh, Mr. Wong whether his application uh, will be uh, successful. Uh. Okay, uh, so uh, the task are uh, with reference to section 4, 5, and 28 of the Jewish ordinance, and also the case, uh, and why Mr. Wong, whether his application is likely to succeed. Uh, of course, uh, you, you, you may ignore uh, this section. Uh, uh, we, are, uh, we don't have enough time. Uh, you should uh, say, uh, fine, we uh, this case. Uh, uh, so um, after you have read the case, uh, I do think uh, Mr. Wong's application will be successful or not successful uh, some students say not successful low 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 any application will be dismissed yeah, uh, most students say ah uh, uh, so the application will not be successful will be su will be dismissed okay uh, low chance <laughs> or something like that uh. I think only one student says uh, unsure. Uh, so uh, now we go through the uh, judgment. Uh. Now we should go through the judgment. Uh, so it's the name of the court, uh, High Court, CFI, uh, miscellaneous proceeding. Uh, so sometimes some cases they're either uh, they're either civil or criminal. Uh, so they're called miscellaneous proceeding. Uh. It's something we Relate is an application under Section 28 of the Jewry Ordinance. Uh, uh, so the exemption is in uh, Section 5. Uh, section 5 lists out all those people who will be exempted. Uh, so uh, if the applicant uh, does not fall within Section 5, uh, he should use Section 28. Uh, uh, because there may be a uh, different scenario. Uh, uh, there may be different situations. So uh, it's up to the court to decide whether the application will be successful. Uh, also, uh, the hearing is in chamber. Uh, chamber is the office of the judge. Uh, the office, uh, the room of the judge is called chamber. Uh, usually there's a table. Uh, uh, there's a table. Uh, they can conduct very small scale uh, meeting. Uh, sometimes there will be a pre-trial meeting between the uh, counsel for the plaintiff and the defendant, or plaintiff, uh, prosecutor and the defendant. Uh, uh, they will have a very small meeting. Uh, uh, so uh, the meeting is not open to the public. Uh. Uh, because it's not something too important. It's only application uh, for exemption. Uh. Uh, so the application is Mr. Mm, uh, uh, so uh, the application uh, is, uh, <clears throat> uh, is they apply for an order that the applicant, Mr. Mm, uh, be removed from the list as long as he continues to be the chairman or uh, get the exemption at, for at least three years uh, or such shorter period as the court thing fit. In fact, uh, the applicant was already granted an exemption for three years uh, in the year 2001. Uh, the three year period has already expired, and so uh, now he's, he's even more busy according to the uh, counsel for the applicant. Uh, uh, so Mr. M is indispensable, uh, uh, indispensable, and also cannot therefore serve as a Jew. Uh, of course, uh, it's something, uh, say, uh, I think. Is exaggerating, ah. Uh, so uh, because we always have a here a saying, ah, uh, a low one in indispensable. A low one is indispensable in a company. A low one is indispensable. Ah, uh, eh? uh, So the council says, ah, uh, he cannot be away from the group, uh, so to speak, even for one second. Ah, eh? uh, it's a uh, totally, ah, uh, it's a uh, totally. Uh, I think uh, it's a uh, extremely exaggeration, ah. Uh, uh, does it mean that he cannot go to the washroom? Does it mean that he cannot go to sleep? Does it mean that he cannot go to have a lunch, etc.? Uh, uh, so though it's something impossible. Uh, uh, there are so many managers, so many officers in the company. Uh, uh, how can you say that he's indispensable? Uh, uh, many bosses are, uh, in fact, they are not so busy. Uh, because they dedicate the job uh, to so the subordinate, uh, so they can have a very easy life. Uh. Okay, uh, so uh, of course, uh, uh, so uh, we have to say that uh, we admit that he should be quite, uh, say, uh, busy. 
about uh, the judge ah uh, does not agree uh, the judge does not agree that he's so indispensable ah uh, okay uh, then also uh, the judge say that ah uh, uh, for serving as a jeweler ah uh, uh, the people of Hong Kong generally uh, will suffer ah uh. uh, sorry ah uh, no um uh, the 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 council submit that ah uh, if he's uh, if, if Mr. Mm uh, serve as a jeweler the people of Hong Kong generally will suffer okay. Uh, it's also exaggeration. Ah, uh. uh, so in paragraph six, ah, uh, uh, the judge said that uh, it's my view of the concern the matter that have been raised uh, that the applicant, uh, despite his many business interests, is not indispensable. Ah, uh, a low one is indispensable. Okay, uh, especially uh, if he can, if he's so well off, uh, he can employ so many people to assist him. I uh, can have so many managers, so many assistants. Uh, to assist him to share his workload. Uh, uh, so, okay. uh, so uh, the judge said that uh, uh, so, uh, his absence uh, on Jewish service will be little more than an inconvenience. Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, serve as a jeweler uh, will cause him something, uh, some inconvenience. Okay. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, everyone is inconvenient. Okay. Uh, so no matter whether the uh, jeweler is a uh, retiree, a housewife or an employee, okay, uh, all people will be uh, inconvenient okay, uh, by serving as a jeweler. But it's the duty of the citizen. Uh, everyone will be uh, inconvenient uh, by uh, you know, serving as a jeweler. Because you have to go to court, you have to attend a trial, you have to spend your time, you have to do so many things. Uh, okay, uh, it will occupy you the time. Okay? Uh, so everyone will be inconvenient. Uh, right? uh, so many of those are uh, potential to a poor party court, for example, are far less able to cope with the inconveniences and difficulty uh, than this applicant would be. Uh, uh, when you compare Mr. Mm with other people, uh, other people may be even uh, more inconvenient. Uh, for example, uh, so if they are the single mother, uh, someone is the, uh, say, is the a uh, breadwinner for the family, someone is a uh, self-employed. Uh, uh, they do not even have any income. Uh, if you are an employee, uh, for example, if you are a civil servant, you are an employee, uh, you can still get your salary. Okay? Uh, but if you are self-employed, uh, if you are the uh, owner of a, a small shop, uh, you may have to close the shop. Uh, so when you are serving as a Jew, okay? uh, so you lose the income, Okay, uh, so uh, they will be even more inconvenienced uh, when compared with Mr. Mm, okay. uh, so uh, this application uh, is made on the basis that the rich and influential should not be subjected to the same consideration for jury duty as other people. Uh, I have sympathy for the applicant in light of the mental race, but I have the same sympathy for the hundreds of prospective jurors. A poor appear before the court on a daily basis are facing similar problem a bit the problem are on a smaller scale uh, uh, even other people uh, they do not one very big business uh, but they also have to uh, sacrifice the time the energy uh, they also have to face the inconvenience uh, right? uh, so they they are also uh, sympathized by the church uh, the church will have sympathy uh, for other people Right. Uh, so, uh, of course, uh, the Jewish service is very important uh, because uh, it can ensure, ensure the rule of law is maintained in Hong Kong. Uh, uh, so, it's uh, very useful, very important uh, to Hong Kong. Right? Uh, 10, uh, uh, so, uh, 10, as I said, uh, the applicant is more fortunate uh, than most uh, potential Jews in that despite his portrayal as being indispensable. He does have a substantial network of staff and assistants who can ensure that any period of Jewish service would be more easily carried out by him than by someone else. For instance, a sole proprietor or someone who was self-employed who would suffer real hardship if required to serve on a jury. When compared with other people, I like sole proprietor. A sole proprietor means he is the only person is only the only owner of a shop, or he, he may be even be the only person in the shop. Uh, so when he has to serve as a jeweler, he has to close the shop on that day. 
or for several things. Uh, some one pool may be self employed. Uh, for example, uh, you are the self employed, uh, say, uh, no, um, uh, say, no self employed uh, translator. Okay, you are the self employed uh, program um, officer, uh, programmer. Uh, so you have to give up your income. Uh, up your, uh, so you are not employee. Uh, if you are the employee, you are absent uh, from the company. Uh, the company still have to give you the salary. Uh, uh, but if you are self employed, Okay. Uh, you have to give up your job. Uh, you have to give up your salary. Uh, you have to give up your income uh, uh, for the period when you are serving as a jeweler. Uh. Uh, so at the end of the day, uh, uh, the court said that I'm not deposed to exercise my discretion in favor of the applicant. Uh, uh, so the application is dismissed. Uh, it's the outcome of the case. And also the judge has given the uh, explanation, uh, the rationale for the decision. Uh, so it's the importance of judgment. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, beyond in our system, uh, so the judge does, will not just give the decision. Okay? Uh, the judge will not tell you the decision, your application is rejected, your application is dismissed, your application is successful. Uh, uh, so the judge will also explain to you uh, uh, the reason for the uh, so you no know, the reason that the applicant the application is dismissed. Uh, uh, so and also addendum, uh, addendum. Uh, in fact, it's not something essential to the decision. Uh, if you uh, say you no, know, uh, uh, the uh, applicant has made a suggestion. Uh, so it's a suggestion. Uh, so is it possible for Mr. M to arrange for one or more of his employees to serve on his stead? Uh, uh, it means that uh, Mr. M, he has so many employees in his company. Uh, he just asks uh, one employee uh, to replace him to work. Uh, so, uh, no, as a Jew, uh, okay. uh, so uh, of course, uh, the, you find that in paragraph 13 and 14. Uh, uh, so, what's the response of the judge? Uh, do you think the judge uh, will welcome this uh, uh, proposal or suggestion? Uh, do you think the judge like or does not like? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, in fact, the judge, as uh, you can see, uh, the judge was quite angry. Uh, uh, you can see. Uh, uh, he was uh, very angry, or at least, uh, at least uh, quite angry. Uh, uh, the extraordinary suggestion, uh, so uh, because it's a uh, very well, odd suggestion, echo the medieval practice by which others, the feudal system declined, a uh, life who held land by military tenure, uh, as well so to the overlord, could substitute personnel and eventually cash payment uh, for the fixed number of days of military service uh, required of them personally. Uh, so in the Middle Ages, uh, uh, so for those who are wealthy, they ask the poor to do the job for them. Uh, uh, sometimes they just pay money. Uh, uh, sure. uh, maybe, uh, oh, you pay, uh, say, uh, $1,000 if you don't want to do the duty. Uh, so the uh, government, uh, the king, will, uh, say, ask uh, some poor people uh, to uh, do the job. Uh, okay? uh, so uh, in fact, uh, it's uh, lost something so good. Uh, so uh, in fact, uh, the judge was quite angry with this suggestion. Uh. Although that idea might seem superficially attractive, uh, it would be put into effect uh, sound the death knell of the Jewish system, uh, not least because of the opportunity it offers for the installation of puppet Jew and Rick Jew, uh, Jewish. Uh. Uh, so, uh, in fact, you can find that uh, the judge was quite angry with this proposal. Uh. Right? Uh, so, um, uh, now you know the outcome of the case, uh, uh, you know the reasoning. A uh, busy user is not the excuse for uh, exemption from the Jewish service. Okay, uh, so if you just uh, say um, and now um, uh, for most students, uh, uh, you will find uh, the, the outcome should be low. Okay, uh, very unlikely for Mr. Wong to succeed. Uh, uh, but I think uh, uh, most of you have overlooked a very uh, important. Uh, paragraph. Uh, so if you just look at the outcome, uh, so you find that uh, oh no, the legal rule is that busy is not an excuse. Uh, okay. uh, but of course, uh, uh, so um, uh, please look at paragraph line. Uh, please read paragraph line uh, more carefully. Uh, uh, so it may affect your answer. Uh. When you are reading the judgment, uh, you may not pay too much attention to paragraph line. Uh, now you look at 
pegwa line. You go for pegwa line more carefully. Ah, uh, uh, so uh, will your answer be the same after you have read pegwa line very carefully? Okay, uh, so would your answer be different uh, after you have read, uh, say, Pegua Lai? Uh, uh, so, yeah, very good. Uh, uh, Michael, uh, Michael Chuck. Uh, uh, so, uh, for a long case, uh, uh, he can apply for exemption. I uh, uh, have no doubt that if the applicant appear in the court uh, in response to any Jewish summon and if he was selected for Jewish service, uh, that he will not be required by the judge to attend on any long case. Uh, uh, we have mentioned before, uh, some cases are very long. Uh, some cases, I uh, would take even several months, okay? Uh, so for those uh, jewel for the long case, uh, usually the court will say that they will have the full time, full, the, for no, they will have the exemption for the rest of the life, uh, okay? Uh, so if a jewel has spent a few months in the case, uh, uh, usually the judge will say that, uh, so uh, those jewel, they can have exemption uh, for the rest of the life, uh, so they will never be asked to serve as jewel anymore, uh, okay? Uh, so why? Uh, why some cases are so long? Uh, usually, uh, is the the reason is very simple. Uh, the reason is uh, so the facts are quite complicated. We have to ascertain uh, so many things. Uh, so we have to call so many witnesses. Uh, so uh, the more witnesses, uh, so a uh, call, uh, uh, the longer the case will be. Uh, uh, because uh, such an application uh, could be made to the trial judge if and when the applicant is required to answer a summon. Uh, uh, in this situation, he would be quite capable of dealing with a case of short duration. Uh, it means that uh, uh, the court will say that you still have to serve as a jeweler, uh, uh, but simply because you are so busy, uh, so you can only serve as a jeweler for a case of short duration. Uh, for example, uh, several days, two days, three days, uh, so they may be uh, more suitable, uh, but you don't want to serve as a jeweler, you don't want to do any service, uh, uh, it will be something unacceptable. Okay? Uh, uh, if we uh, said, uh, uh, say, if we allow, the, if the court allow the application for exemption so easy, uh, uh, in Hong Kong everyone's busy, uh, so many people don't want to be jeweler, uh, and it will be very difficult for the court to find uh, suitable people to be jewel. Uh. Uh, sometimes we have to strike the balance. Uh, uh, we are, uh, on the one hand, uh, we want to ensure that the jewel uh, have uh, good quality, but on the other hand, uh, uh, we have to be realistic. Uh. Uh, we have to know that many people don't want to be jewel. Uh. Uh, so we cannot be too selective. Uh, so we have to uh, say, um, uh, we, we, we simply uh, so cannot impose a uh, too heavy requirement uh, on the jewel.
long or short, I think uh, it's something discretionary. Uh, uh, there is no uh, definition. Uh, but of course, a uh, few months must be long. A uh, okay? uh, few day, I think, is quite short. Uh. Uh, so, uh, so uh, no, we cannot set too many uh, very definite, uh, definite definition. Uh, so uh, it's not easy. And uh, when you study common law, uh, you find that uh, so many things. Uh, we, we, we don't have the fine strict rule. Uh, uh, so uh, in so many issues, we don't have the fine strict rule. So uh, when in case of dispute, uh, uh, the counsel for both sides will say uh, cases uh, for argument. Uh, so at the end of the day, uh, the court will make the judgment, uh, will make the decision. Uh. Uh, so if you want to learn more about the jury, uh, 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 so you can always refer to the judiciary the website of judiciary, uh, you can find there's a column called jury, uh, a guidance notes for jury in criminal trial, uh, it will uh, say, you know, uh, list out all the matters, all the rules and regulations, uh, all the matters the jury have to pay attention. Uh, okay. And so we have a video clip, uh, <laughs> we have, it's a jury video clip, uh, so you can uh, say, you know, uh, you can see this clip, and so you can know more about the jury service. Uh, for this one, also uh, is the guidance guidance note. Uh, so it's in Chinese. I uh, find English. I can find all the. Okay, so, oh, we can't have the English version. I'm sorry. So we only have the Chinese version. I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh. So uh, you can find the court diary. Ah, uh. uh, so. Uh, Court diary means uh, the case to be heard in the court. Uh. Uh, the daily cost list, uh, daily cost list is, uh, I think, uh, you can choose, for example, uh, you can choose the, uh, tomorrow, uh, you can choose the one on tomorrow. Uh, you can choose, for example, uh, the small claim tribunal. Uh. Uh, this one is small claim tribunal. Right? Uh, you can find uh, so most of the small claim tribunal cases are very routine. Uh, are very routine. Okay. Uh, usually, uh, the cases about uh, commission, okay, service charge, or management fee are very straightforward. Uh, or ways and government rent uh, are very straightforward. Right? Uh, usually, uh, the defendant will not have too much excuse. Uh, Okay. Uh, very, very simple. Uh, you find most of the cases are very simple. Uh, uh, the jurisdiction is 75,000. Uh, uh, the maximum amount you can claim is only 75,000. Uh. Also, a small claim tribunal have the exclusive jurisdiction uh, uh, for cases not exceeding uh, 75,000. Uh, for now, uh, if, if you want to recover 3,000, uh, you cannot go to CFI. Uh, okay? uh, you have to go to uh, the small claim tribunal. Uh, so, this can illustrate the fact uh, So, when you are reading a judgment, uh, you have to be more careful. Uh, sometimes you may have overlooked uh, important uh, power. Uh, uh, even though a uh, BC is not an excuse, uh, uh, the court is also realistic and also sympathetic, uh, more considerate. Uh, uh, so, no, we do not just set a very strict uh, rule, a very harsh rule uh, uh, to say that you can never exempt for exemption. Uh, uh, so, in case of uh, some uh, real trouble, or you no, know, the court will grant the exemption. Uh, and also, even though uh, so the court cannot grant the exemption, but still, uh, uh, the court can assign uh, someone to uh, be a juror for a case of shorter duration. Uh, uh, so the inconvenience will be uh, minimized. Uh. And now we may uh, continue the lecture. Uh, so a um, uh, jury uh, is used in criminal trial. Uh, uh, so in the court of first instance, where the accused uh, plead not guilty. Uh, because the job of the juror is to uh, determine whether the defendant is guilty or not guilty. Uh, if the defendant has already pleaded guilty, uh, uh, there's no need to have any jury trial. Uh, uh, because when, uh, when someone has already pleaded guilty, uh, PG, uh, enjoy, uh, uh, so uh, the next step is sentencing. Uh, so the judge will determine uh, the punishment. Okay? Uh, 
啊，所以 cross sentencing 啊，两年啊，啊 ，for example， 我的 defendant is found guilty， now he's sentenced to five years imprisonment， four years imprisonment， 啊，所以 cross sentencing 啊，啊 ，jury as judges of fact in returning the verdict 啊 ，determine the innocent or guilt of the accused 啊 ，it means the judge 啊 ，the jury 啊，啊 ，will 啊 ，determine whether the defendant is guilty or innocent 啊，啊 ，please note 啊，啊的。Jury can always ignore uh, the uh, say the direction uh, by the uh, judge, uh, so they can make the final decision uh, whether uh, so uh, uh, the defendant is guilty or not guilty. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, it depends on the decision made by the jury. A uh. uh, jury is a key feature of the common law system. In fact, it's the cornerstone uh, uh, of the common law system. Okay? Uh, so, uh, even though uh, later on you can find there are lots of criticism against the jury trial, uh, but still uh, is the very important thing. Uh, so, uh, it's irreplaceable. Uh. Uh, jury trial in civil cases is now the exception uh, rather than the rule. Uh, the most usual case is defamation. Uh, uh, defamation means a wrong statement uh, which adversely affects the reputation of uh, the other person. Uh. In fact, defamation, you can find defamation uh, everywhere in Hong Kong. Uh, in a lot of newspaper, journal, or even, uh, say, I think in the, in the web, uh, uh, you can find a lot of defamatory statement. Uh, but in fact, in Hong Kong, lots so many people will take uh, legal action in defamation because it's very expensive. Uh, okay? uh, so criticism of the jury system. Uh, we have a lot of criticism. Uh, first of all, uh, so uh, there are many people say that the system has a lot of witnesses. Uh, uh, there are too many exemptions. So under section five, you can find a lot of exemptions. Uh, and also under section six, section four, uh, uh, you can find uh, the jury uh, has to uh, satisfy so many requirements uh, before he's eligible. Uh, so uh, to be a jury, uh, uh, for example, section four, uh, you can find the. So it's certain for, uh, okay, uh, for uh, this one, certain for uh, so these are the three requirements. Uh, uh, must be of some mild low disability, preventing the person from serving as a jeweler. Okay? Uh, so uh, he should not be he should not suffer from blindness, deafness, or other disability. Uh, person is of good character. Uh, usually it means that he has low uh, criminal record uh, or uh, say a person has a sufficient knowledge of the language. Uh, in the past, uh, uh, so, uh, so the jeweler must have good uh, knowledge of in English. Uh, because, uh, most of the in all, all the cases, uh, uh, in the past, all the cases were conducted in English. Uh, uh, but now it may not be a problem. Uh, uh, because many cases are conducted in Cantonese. Uh, uh, so uh, some people may not know uh, uh, cases are now uh, more there are more cases in Cantonese uh, uh, than in English. Okay, uh, so especially uh, when the party or the party are uh, in Cantonese speaking, uh, the judge is also a local Chinese. Ah, uh, uh, usually there will be low problem. Uh, so the case will be conducted in Cantonese instead of English. Uh. Uh, so uh, if someone has a very uh, bad. Uh, uh, English level, uh, he can still uh, be a jeweler. Uh, because nowadays, many cases are conducted in Cantonese. Uh, so, uh, so you can find so many exemptions. Uh, so it's a very long list of exemptions. Uh, so many people are exempted uh, from Jewish service. And also, uh, so, uh, also, too many potential jewelers apply to be excused. Uh, now it may not be so true uh, because uh, application for exemption, uh, most of them are unsuccessful. Uh, uh, it's not easy to apply for exemption. Uh. Age requirement uh, are unduly restrictive. It's only 21 to 65. Uh. Uh, profession, uh, sometimes the criticism is about the quality uh, of the jewel. Uh, possession or academic degree or professional qualification is not necessary. Uh, many jewelers do not have a sufficient command of English. Uh, it may be true in the past, uh, but now because uh, so many cases are conducted in 
Cantonese, uh, so uh, English lab, English standard, uh, I may not be so important now. They are a jewel are more likely to accept an implausible. Uh, impossible means untrue defense. Uh, uh, sometimes the uh, defense counsel is very eloquent, uh, so he can uh, adversely affect the uh, jewel. Uh, so the uh, many jewel they will tend to find the defendant uh, to be not guilty. And also uh, reduce the number of exemption. Uh, reduce the number of exemption. Uh, so these are the proposal for reform. Uh, uh, we reduce the number of exemptions. So many people they should not enjoy the uh, exemption. Uh, for example, the spouse of the judge, uh, uh, so or uh, you know uh, some professional. Be allowed there. Uh, so uh, some professional, uh, the number is very big. Uh, uh, so uh, they are also irreplaceable or indispensable. Uh, the situation was very different uh, from the situation in the mid. Uh, 19th century. Uh, at that time, Hong Kong only had very small number of professionals. Uh, but now we have so many. Okay? Although, no, they should not have uh, enjoyed, uh, say, the exemption anymore. Uh, uh, tidy, uh, regulate any application for excusal from Jewish service. Uh, I think it's what the judge, uh, what the court has already done. Uh, alter the age limit, uh, extend the age limit to 70. Uh, introduce a uh, qualification test to increase the pool and competence of Jewel. Uh, have more child in Chinese is no uh, is what the court has already done. Uh, uh, so introduce academic and professional qualification for jury eligibility. Uh, I think this is something more con controversial. Uh, because if you uh, introduce uh, the uh, qualification requirement, uh, uh, the potential number uh, of jury may go down. Uh, uh, we may not have enough jury uh, to do the job. Uh, uh, some some people even suggest uh, a uh, juror should give reason for the decision. Ah, uh, uh, when the when the defendant is found not guilty or guilty, ah, uh, uh, usually uh, there may not be any reason. Uh, the juror, uh, the the reporter cannot interview the juror. Uh, the reporter is not allowed uh, uh, to interview to ask the juror why you find the defendant uh, not guilty. Right? Uh, you can only refer to the judgment. Ah. Uh, right? Uh, allow jewel to be interviewed as to deliberation. That means that the, you know, we may allow the uh, reporter to interview the jewel to ask them uh, why they find the defendant guilty or not guilty. Uh, also, some people even suggest that uh, the judge should retire with jewel. Uh, 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 retire does not mean uh, retire at the retirement age. Uh, it only means that he leaves the courtroom. And go to a room. As usually, uh, the jewel will retire. Uh, they will leave the courtroom and go to a room, uh, a meeting room for discussion. Uh, uh, so uh, it's the meaning of retire. Ah, just retiring, just not retire. Ah, don't confuse this term. Ah, uh. and also uh, in some uh, commercial case. Ah, uh, uh, so uh, some people suggest that we should uh, have accountant to assist jewel in complex commercial cases. Ah, uh, because for those cases. Uh, there will be a lot of financial report, a lot of uh, financial statement, uh, like uh, say you know uh, transaction record or uh, say uh, profit and loss account, audit, auditor report, etc., etc. Uh, uh, so for uh, many people, they do not quite understand uh, those uh, accounting statement or document. Uh, uh, so they need an accountant to assist them, uh, or they have to appoint jeweler. Jury coordinator to assist you, uh, or introduce pre-trial explanation and procedure uh, so to the jury, uh, so that they can fully appreciate their task. Uh. Uh, because many uh, jury, uh, they do not have any uh, fundamental knowledge in law. Uh, they know nothing about court procedure. Uh. A proposal for reform. Uh, so you can find those proposals in the uh, report of the Law Reform Commission. Uh. So later on, I will visit uh, the website of the Law Reform Commission. Uh, or we pay jury in complex commercial crime cases by either fraud, a uh, trial, tribunal, or a group of judges. Uh, it means that also for uh, some complex commercial crime cases, uh, we should have either the professional uh, to uh, do the job, uh, or we just ask a panel of judges to do the job to replace the jury. So for those kind of cases, uh, uh, so jury trial may not be uh, too appropriate. Uh. 
Uh, the Law Reform Commission has uh, proposed amending the law to remove some of the exemption in this report criteria for service at Jewel. Uh, uh, the report was released in the year of 2010, uh, 2010. Uh, so um, it's already 10 years. <laughs> I can tell you, it's more than 10 years. Uh, uh, the bill is not yet ready, I can tell you, okay? Uh, so the bill is not yet ready. A uh, lot, lot, lot to say, uh, the uh, amended legislation. Uh. Uh, so the report is available in the website of the Law Reform Commission, and also uh, it recommended that the age limit be increased to 70. Uh, because a lot of day, uh, most people in Hong Kong have a longer life expectancy. Uh, uh, so uh, a man or a woman at the age of 70 uh, is still very good. Uh, so the condition is still very good. Uh, so they should be eligible to be a Jew. Uh, now uh, we may go uh, visit the website of the Law Reform Commission. Uh, this is the uh, website of the Law Reform Commission. Uh, they have a lot of reports. Uh, uh, so these are the uh, publication of the, uh, say, uh, Law Reform Commission. Uh, so you go to, uh, say, Uh, you go to uh, publication, uh, you click, uh, say, uh, it's called, uh, it's under the category of court, a uh, criteria for service at Jewel. Uh, this is a consultation paper. Uh, the consultation paper was published on two, 2008. A uh, uh, report was uh, prepared, uh, was published on in uh, 2010. Uh, so it's the government response and also the latest uh, position. Uh, I think the government was quite ready to accept the recommendation, uh, but uh, so the latest position is that uh, the Department of Justice has stated that the Department is preparing a working uh, draft bill, a uh, uh, with a view to consulting the public, including the legal professional body and also the judiciary and other stakeholders on the legislative proposal no later than 2020. Okay, uh, it's already September of. 2020. Yeah, so uh, you see that. Uh, uh, so uh, it may be behind the schedule. Uh, I think uh, so because of uh, so many things. Uh, so uh, I think the government may not be able uh, to prepare the the, the bill uh, within this year. Uh, so it already takes uh, more than ten years. A uh, report was published in 2010, uh, but now it's already 2020. And then we have uh, some uh, miscellaneous uh, matter. Uh, uh, for example, uh, the child procedure will be covered in criminal procedure and also civil procedure. Uh, a civil procedure is module two. Uh, a criminal procedure will be covered in uh, criminal law and, po and procedure in uh, DLS. Uh, some um, uh, basic uh, principle of uh, say of law. Uh, uh, so in uh, Say uh, in all the litigation, uh, so uh, we have a concept called burden of proof. Uh, a burden of proof means a uh, proof has to prove someone is guilty or liable. Uh, uh, so example, uh, so if uh, say if the police want to uh, prosecute someone uh, for uh, burglary, uh, usually the police has to prove the uh, have to bear the burden. Uh, so the the government has to prove. Uh, the defendant is guilty, right? Uh, so under the Hong Kong legal system, uh, everyone is presumed to be innocent. Uh, so it's a very important presumption, or we can say that it's even the most important presumption in English law. Uh, because it will affect the uh, liberty of so many people, right? Uh, if, and also it's also the reason uh, why we have bail. Uh, 
uh, so bosic okay uh, so why we have why usually the defendant can uh, be granted bail uh, because of the presumption of innocence okay? uh, so everyone is presumed to be innocent uh, uh, unless and until uh, he has been proved guilty uh, so it's the reason uh, why he there should be bail uh, so why bail should be uh, granted to the suspect uh, okay? Otherwise, it will be very uh, unfair to him. Uh, okay? uh, so if someone is detained for one year and then the child is found not guilty, uh, even though he's found not guilty, uh, he has already been detained uh, for one year. Okay? Uh, if there's no bail, uh, the, the suspect uh, will be detained uh, without being proved guilty. Uh, so it is something very unfair to him. Uh. Uh, hence, the person will only be treated as guilty of offense uh, if he or she is convicted by the court. Uh, uh, so we should only uh, call those people to be suspect. Uh, we cannot call them to be criminal. Uh. Of course, uh, uh, many uh, say newspaper law, they are uh, uh, usually they will uh, say they will regard someone to be guilty. Uh, whenever someone is arrested and prosecuted, uh, so the many newspaper, many media uh, will call those people to be criminal. Uh. Uh, in fact, it's not something so correct. Uh, we have to call them a suspect. Okay? Uh, so before someone is found guilty, uh, he should only be called a suspect, uh, yi fan, uh, uh, instead of a criminal, a uh, uh. uh, Further proof, uh, so um, for criminal cases, uh, it's always on the prosecution side. Uh. Uh, please note that uh, not only the government will be the prosecutor. Uh, sometimes, for example, m uh, they also have uh, private prosecution. Uh, against those people who breach the bylaw of the uh, MTLC, uh, MTL uh, ordinance. Right? And also, uh, some other people will also do the prosecution. Uh, for example, the SFC, uh, uh, Securities and Future uh, Commission, uh, Jing Gang Wei, okay? uh, they will also conduct prosecution. Uh, and also for the government, uh, so uh, they have uh, usually the prosecutor is the government counsel, uh, uh, but sometimes they will. Uh, uh, before the case to some uh, private practicing uh, uh, council, eh? uh, so uh, the prosecutor may also be a private practicing council. Uh. Uh, so uh, for civil case, uh, it's always on the claimant or the plaintiff. Uh. Uh, for example, if someone has uh, you you think someone has breached the contract with you, are uh, uh, you bear the burden? Uh, you have to prove uh, there's already a contract. You have to prove that uh, the other party have breached a term. Of the contract, eh? uh, so it's called uh, burden of proof. Uh. Uh, so uh, you better keep uh, the record. Uh. Uh, so if you have already uh, say given up the record, you already destroyed the record, it will be very difficult uh, for you to uh, prove the case. Uh, because you always have the burden of proof. Uh, you have to uh, adduce all the evidence uh, to prove that the defendant is liable or guilty. Uh. Uh, standard proof. Uh, standard proof means uh, up to what standard uh, you have to prove. Eh? Uh, so uh, sometimes we have uh, a very little evidence. Uh, so um, uh, you cannot reach the standard proof as required by law. Uh, uh, for criminal case, uh, they have a higher standard. Uh, uh, we can use an analogy uh, in criminal case uh, beyond reasonable doubt. Uh, so the standard proof uh, is. Uh, that the evidence which established the prosecution case is beyond reasonable doubt. Uh, uh, but it's only re beyond reasonable doubt. Uh, we cannot be beyond absolute doubt. Uh, okay? uh, so, uh, no, we have to be realistic. Uh, so, we cannot be 100% sure uh, that the defendant should be found guilty. Uh, okay? uh, we, all, uh, we have a lot of limitation. Uh, uh, sometimes the testimony of the Witness may not be so reliable. Uh. So uh, sometimes the document uh, may be fake. Uh, so uh, there are so many reasons. Uh, uh, so why uh, say we cannot prove everything? Uh, okay? uh, so we can only set the standard to be beyond reasonable doubt. Uh. Uh, if, uh, so the judge sometimes he will say, uh, so somehow, you know, daylight sometimes he will say, I give you the benefit of doubt. Uh, okay? uh, so it's the concept. Uh. Uh, so benefit of doubt will always go to the defendant. Uh, so if it's not so sure whether the defendant is guilty or not guilty, uh, uh, so we 
the defendant will be found not guilty. And when the defendant is found not guilty, it does not necessarily mean that he has not committed the crime. Uh, he may have committed the crime, uh, uh, but there's no not enough evidence to show that he to prove that he's guilty. Uh, uh, so it's the reason why the defendant is found not guilty in the court. Uh, sometimes the judge will say, that, "I know you are guilty. Okay, I know you have already committed the crime, but uh, there's not enough evidence to prove that you are guilty." Uh, uh, so the only thing uh, that the judge can do uh, uh, before the defendant leave the courtroom. Uh, the judge will criticize him, uh, will scold him. Uh, uh, so you know, it's the only thing that the judge can do. Uh, uh, but at the end of the day, uh, so even though the judge think that the defendant should be guilty, uh, but he still have to find the defendant not guilty uh, because there's not yet uh, not enough evidence uh, to prove that the defendant is guilty. Uh, if the defendant is found guilty, uh, he may appeal. Uh, the appeal may be allowed uh, because uh, the conviction is unsafe and unsatisfactory. Uh, for civil case, uh, it's always on the balance of probability. Uh, uh, so it means that uh, so the judge will see where, whether which side story is more probable. Uh, uh, so the judge uh, so has to consider the evidence. Uh, the evidence which established that party A's claim is more probable than of party B. Uh, okay? Uh, then that or party B. Uh, so it, it means that a uh, party A story is more reliable, more trustworthy. Uh, so the court will find that will we, we, we'll, uh, say you no, know, we we'll give a judgment to party A. Uh, that's the plaintiff. Uh. Uh, for example, if A, if A should be in negligence, uh, B will be liable if the court thinks that is more probable. Uh, that B is negligent instead of not negligent. Uh, so we have two possibilities. Either B is negligent or B is not negligent. Uh, so the court has to consider which side is more probable. Uh, so is it most probable uh, that he is negligent or is it more probable that he is not negligent? Uh, the judge has to make a choice. Uh, okay? uh, so it's only on the balance of probability. Uh, so the standard uh, is lower uh, than beyond reasonable doubt. Uh, uh, we can use an analogy. Uh, uh, beyond reasonable uh, it's something like 80 mark. Uh, uh, so you have to get a high mark uh, before you can find someone to be guilty in a criminal case. Uh, but in a civil case, uh, you only need 50 mark. Okay? You only need 50 mark. Uh, so before you can find someone to be liable. Uh. Uh, judgment and order is the end result of a trial. Uh. Uh, so please do fill in the blank. Uh, uh, these are the key concepts uh, in this case.
Okay, I think uh, so. Uh, the question is very simple. Uh, so uh, number one, uh, court uh, is a place where justice is administered. Uh, so number two, uh, tribunal or body outside the traditional judicial hierarchy with a less formal manner and in specialized area. Uh, number three, general power of appeal court is to be uh, say confirm the decision. It means to uh, dismiss the appeal or vary the decision or reverse the decision. Uh, uh, we have three types of issues, issue of fact, issue of law, and also issue of application of law to the fact. Uh, uh, people, uh, uh, so when you study law in this classroom, uh, uh, usually the issue uh, issue of law and issue of application of law, uh, uh, we seldom handle any issue of fact. Uh, your issue of fact uh, so is something uh, we will learn in African law, uh, but in this uh, program, uh, we will not study Afton or Ajin uh, Guifa. Afton uh, uh, means uh, what Afton will be admissible, what Afton will not be admissible. Uh, uh, so uh, usually because uh, the party will give two different stories, uh, especially in fighting case. Uh, so different party will give different story. Uh, different witness may also give different story. Uh, uh, so it's quite difficult uh, for the court to ascertain the fact. Of course, the court have so many means uh, to ascertain the facts, but sometimes it's time consuming. Uh, uh, in the classroom, it's not possible uh, for us to discuss the issue of fact. Uh, you cannot ask someone to be with us, you cannot ask someone to give you a very long uh, statement or testimony. Uh, these uh, documents are very bulky, uh, I can tell you. Uh, uh, in some complex case, uh, uh, we may have hundreds of box files. A box file uh, is a three inch file. Uh, so you can imagine. Uh, so one box file uh, is already very bulky. Uh, sometimes the uh, document may be uh, 20 box files, 
100 bucks per hour in some commercial crime case i can tell you uh, uh, the document uh, we have to use the law firm has to use a small room uh, to store all the necessary document okay as uh, you can see how complicated the facts are uh, uh, so it's not possible uh, if we have issue of fact uh, if we involve so many people a lot of document uh, so it's not something practical uh, in legal study uh, so in legal study in studying law uh, so usually we will uh, give you a fact pattern okay uh, you have to assume all the facts are true uh, that's lowly for you to challenge the fact uh, that's lowly for you to dispute the fact uh, if you dispute the fact uh, for example, uh, uh, so uh, I say uh, uh, John is uh, 21 years old uh, if you dispute the fact, uh, so I do not know whether John is re really 21 years old. Uh, he may be 10 years old. Okay? Uh, so the age of John will affect the answer. Uh, your answer must be based on the fact pattern. If you change the fact, uh, so the answer will be very different. Right? Uh, so you cannot change the fact. Uh, uh, you have to assume all the facts are true. Okay? Otherwise, uh, the answer will be very confusing. Uh, Okay, uh, so usually uh, we just uh, understand the law. Uh, so uh, the legal position is based on the fact provided uh, so, so that we can simplify the question. Uh, otherwise, the question will be too uh, complicated. Uh. Okay, uh, so I think uh, we still have some time after we can go through the assignment uh, very briefly. Uh. Uh, so uh, first of all, uh, so it's the case of Wang Chunying. Uh, so you have to find the case of Wang Chunying. Uh, so it was uh, uh, so hearing was in the court appeal uh, in the year. Oh sorry, it's a typing mistake. Uh. It should be 1991. Uh, so I think I don't know whether why this, uh, this typing mistake. Uh. Uh, it should be in the year uh, 1991. Uh, but it doesn't matter if you have the reference number. Uh, you can find the case quite easily. Uh. Uh, CACV 75 of 1990. Uh, uh, you may just go to the website of the judiciary. Uh, uh, you can find the case quite easily. I don't know whether you can still, uh, you have already found this case. Uh. Uh, so you can find the case quite easily. Uh, so you just go to judiciary. Uh, you go to judgment. Uh, so you go to judgment. Uh, uh, you click judgment. Okay, uh, so you can find this case. Uh, so it's the judgment of the case of Wang Chim Ying. Uh. Uh, so I think all of you should know uh, this case. Uh, it's a case we mentioned in chapter 5. Uh. Okay. Uh, so it's the judgment. Uh, I think it's around 20 pages or something. Uh. Uh, please go through the judgment and answer the following cases. Uh, the general area of law, specific issue. Uh, please the uh, issue must be in the form of question. Uh. Uh, so many students, uh, when you know, in answering this question, uh, so many students just say, oh, this case is about so and so. Uh, they, uh, from many students just write down the facts of the case. Uh, it's not the answer we want. Uh, you have to use a question uh, in this. You have to use a question in the answer of this question. Uh, it must be in a question form. Uh, for example, uh, in the case of Donald Hugh and Stevenson, the issue is whether the manufacturer owe any duty of care to the ultimate consumer. Uh, uh, argument, uh, so of the parent and uh, so respondent reason for the decision outcome. Okay, uh, so I think uh, I have already given you a sample. Uh, uh, so the sample is about the case of Ma Kok Fai. Uh, it's a leading case in uh, men's law in Hong Kong. Uh, uh, so uh, the general area of law, uh, so usually you just use the format of a uh, uh, of, of some keyword, uh, okay. Uh, so for example, uh, so it's a case about criminal law, murder, criminal appeal, manslaughter, intent to kill, do serious body harm. Uh, you just notice the 
uh, stay the area of law. Uh, so of course, uh, you have to uh, at the very beginning, uh, it will be more uh, you know it's a wider scope, uh, and also then you level down uh, the scope of area. So uh, you know, it's about criminal law. The topic is uh, murder, manslaughter, intent to kill, etc. Uh, so I uh, use use this. Uh, uh, keywords uh, to illustrate the general area of law. Uh, uh, don't state the fact of the case. Uh, many students uh, just copy some paragraph in the judgment. Uh, uh, the case is about so and so. What happened uh, is not the answer we want. Uh, uh, so, uh, catch up. Uh, is something like catch up in a, uh, say, headlock. Uh, uh, so, if you look at this uh, uh, keyword uh, or catch up, uh, uh, you will know what this case is about. Uh. Uh, you will have a rough idea, okay? Uh, so long to a uh, specific issue, ah. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, so uh, the question in law is uh, how the jury should be directed in referring the lesser intent uh, for the offense charge. And number two is should the jury be uh, directed to focus only on the blow or blows causative of the prohibited outcome, or should they instead be uh, directed to focus on all the circumstances. Uh, okay? uh, so it's the question we have to ask. Uh, or whether acquittal for murder justified because of material misdirection by the judge. Okay? Uh, these are the questions uh, so raised by the judge uh, in the judgment. Uh. Uh, why issue is something more important? Uh, because if you do not know the meaning of issue, uh, it will be very difficult for you to focus on the point of dispute in that case. Okay? Uh, for example, uh, if, you're, if you know someone is debating, uh, if you know someone is quarreling, uh, what do you want to know? Uh, you want to know uh, their point of dispute, uh, what they are arguing. Okay? Uh, so you have to be specific. Uh, uh, you cannot just give a very general uh, statement. Uh, you cannot say, oh, they, they, they are talking about murder case. Uh, so it's not specific enough. Uh, uh, you have to be very specific uh, in the uh, in spotting the issue. Uh, okay, uh, for example, uh, in a contract case, uh, uh, if the plaintiff sue the defendant, uh, you cannot just say that uh, the plaintiff want to uh, get money, uh, get compensation from the defendant. Uh, it's too general. Uh, it will not be useful. Uh, uh, so it's not the issue. Okay? It's not a legal issue. Uh. Uh, for issue, uh, you have to be more specific. Uh, otherwise, uh, it will not be so meaningful. Uh. Of course, it's dif difficult. Uh, I have to tell you, uh, so to spot the issue is something uh, quite difficult. Uh, but you have to uh, do your job well. Okay? Uh, you just uh, make a very genuine statement. Uh. Uh, it will not be too meaningful. Uh. Okay, uh, so uh, I think uh, that's all for uh, today's lesson. Uh. So any more question? Uh, so you have three, two. Uh, so no. Uh, so uh, three, two. Uh. Uh, it means very, uh, v a r y, uh, uh, it should be very, uh, so, a few times. So uh, uh, score will keep uh, are we going to the course? I think uh, you have to wait until uh, you get the announcement from the college. Uh. Uh, no, uh, Alice Choi, uh, you say uh, issue, issue is a question. Argument is the argument for the standpoint. Uh. Uh, for example, uh, uh, say um, uh, in a contract case, uh, we say that our display of goods is only uh, well, uh, well, uh, sorry, uh, uh, so no, uh, in the case of Donald Hughes and Stevenson, uh, the issue is whether the manufacturer owes duty of care uh, to the ultimate uh, consumer. Uh, so if you're acting for the defendant, uh, you argue that there's no such duty. Uh, you have to put forward all, all the argument. Why you think there's no duty? Uh, uh, if you are acting for the plaintiff, you have to argue that uh, there should be duty. Uh, uh, but you have to uh, produce the argument. Uh. Uh, so question. 
issue is only a question uh, to be decided by the court. Uh, arguments are uh, argument by the plaintiff or the defendant or who the con who the lawyer. Uh. A single mother with a newborn baby, of course, he can apply for exemption. Uh. Uh, so, and also, uh, maybe uh, his uh, service may be postponed, uh, etc. Uh, so, of course, the court will uh, consider his situation, her, her case uh, very carefully. Uh. Alright, uh, thank you very much for uh, attending the lecture uh, and also uh, all your uh, participation in the class. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I shall see you on uh, this uh, first day. Uh, so, uh, first day, we'll uh, go to the topic of legal profession. Uh, okay? And then, uh, so you know, uh, next week, maybe our second last question uh, before is the lesson proof before the where can we get that sample assignment? Uh, I think I have already uh, asked uh, EA to post the sample on so. Uh, uh, please check with so. Uh, it should be on so. Uh.